What has the Lord showed you? Anything about this new year? Anything about this year? Because oh, I, wow. I'm kind of hitting on that today. Yeah, well, a lot. One of the things is on New Year's Eve 2021, I prophesied 2021 would be a replay if we don't pray. So that was 2020. Mm. And it's the same thing now. 2022 is going to be a replay, but magnified. So yes. the intercessors in the church, there's a remnant. Thank God yes. there's a remnant. Amen. But we need a great awakening in the church. And you know that great awakenings always follow great shakings. Right. And so when everything that can be shaken is shaken, we don't need to be dismayed. We need to take it as a sign, a signal from the Lord, who in his mercy is trying to wake up the church so that we can take take faith-based action yes. to preserve ourselves and the lives yes. of others like Joseph's in the last time. So in, in, in his days. And so that's one of the biggest things is everything is going to continue intensifying. Yes. And mm. the, the, if the church doesn't wake up, judgment begins in the house of God. That's so, it. you know, in the book of Revelation, if you look at that, Jesus dealt with the seven churches mm. before the plagues, before the bowls, before the, yeah. the trumpets. He's trying yes. to get the Amen. church to wake up and cooperate with his entire plan. Amen. Yeah. The church has to wake. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to have revival of uh, not just a regular revival. I mean a revolution. It yes. has to be a move of God. And people have to turn back to God. Yes. And uh, this is, I believe this year, I'm not going to back down on it. I believe it's going to be the biggest revelation year to date that we've ever had. More events are going to take yeah. place. What do you believe are the things that Christians need to know in the coming prophetic season. Mm -hmm. One of them is despite all this shaking, you know, there's a light in Goshen. Those who are hidden in Christ, those who uh, pressed into relationship, fellowship with the Holy Spirit, I believe that those who are on fire for God, they're going to see an upgrade yes, in the season. Amen. Despite the shaking, despite the, 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 the bombs that are going to go off, despite the disasters, God still wants to upgrade us. Mm -hmm. And the reasons why are so that we can be an example and a living testimony to the unbelievers who yes. say, why are you still thriving in the middle of That's this right. storm? Yeah. How are you Good. still rising up and prospering when right. everything in the economy is shaking? Right. Why? And so I want to challenge you who are listening today to look for the places where the enemy has degraded you, okay, because mm. we're talking about upgrade, mm. where he's degraded you, or whether he's, you know, he's, he's shaking you. The places where the enemy attacked, that is where God wants to upgrade you. Mm. It's important to remember yes. that in this yes. season. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God.